Most goat producers draw their own blood to send in for s testing because vets charge way too much most of the time. They charge $40 to draw the blood, 20 more to come out to your farm, and then a couple more to send it. It's a lot cheaper if you do it yourself. However, there's not a lot out on the internet about how to draw blood, so it can be really nerve-wracking the first couple times you do it. But it's actually really straightforward, really easy, not really anything you can do wrong. So, hoping this video will help you guys with that. What you'll need to draw blood is just some syringe, syringes and needles. Um, how much blood you'll need depends on which test you're doing, and also what kind of blood you'll need. Uh, there's some tests that make you separate the serum from the blood and you'll have to go through that to do that because you don't have a centrifuge, centrifuge more than likely. In this video we're going to be doing uh, blood samples for CAE testing and they want about two cc's of serum or whole blood. Uh, the CAE testing is really uh, straightforward. You can use about any tube that you want. But anyway, I use these 3ml syringes. I draw 3ml's just so I make sure I have enough. And the needle I use is a 20 gauge, 1 inch needle. That works just perfect, just the right size. It's not too small so that this blood's coming out really slow and it's not so big that it's hard to get in and you're scared you're leaving too big of a hole or whatever. So 3ml with a 22 gauge, 1 inch needle. And I have a whole bag of these here because we're doing 13 goats today. And then you'll need these blood tubes. So you'll have to draw the blood with the syringe and then put it in this blood tube in order to bring it to the lab or send it to the lab. So these are 4 ml red top tubes. I don't know if you can see. I mean, they're really basic. I mean, CAE is really simple. You don't really need a special tube. Just red top is the empty. There's no, um, because some different tubes will have different things in the bottom to like prevent the blood from clotting in the tube while it's being shipped and stuff like that. This doesn't matter for CAE, you just use a red top tube. And there are a couple different red, kinds of red top tubes, but again, it doesn't really matter. And of course there's different sizes. I think the 4 ml is the smallest, so that's what we get to put our 3 mls of blood in. And they are vacuumator tubes, but if you have them for very long, they lose your vacuum, which is fine. You just use the syringe and push the blood into it. Now, pardon the noise in the background. It's my little puppy. Actually, it's my huge puppy. He's only four months old. He's huge. And that nose. Cut it out! It goes like to headbutt the wall and make all kinds of racket. This was the main noise. My little puppy playing around. He'll go out for the blood test, but he's just in here for now. So the best way to do it is have a stanchion, or you can straddle them if you're tall, or if your helper's tall enough. Just straddle them and hold up their head. I guess we'll show that way too. But anyway, Brittany's gonna pull her head kind of through, and then hold it for me. You don't want it too high, and you don't want it at too much of an angle because it'll mess up where the vein is. So you can see right here this big old groove. The jugular vein is right in this groove, and they're on both sides, so you can do it from either side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hand as far down here as I can. It's kind of difficult in the stanchion. And I'm going to find in the bottom, you can't see my hand, but anyway, this groove goes all the way down to where her shoulder, or her point of shoulder. So you'll follow the groove down and then jab your fingers into it and hold it off the best you can. And so it'll puff up this vein with blood. You can feel it puffing up. I can't really show you that, but you can feel it. So you'll wait till it gets nice and big. Because that's what you're going to be jabbing into. I think hers is going to be a little tricky again, though. And then we're just going to put our needle at the angle of the neck. Because if we don't, we're just going to be stabbing right through the vein. And that's not going to do us any good. We're going to keep it at the same angle as the neck, and again, the stanchion is kind of hard because this thing is in the way, but it seems to be easier than straddling them and trying to do it. There we go. Easy as that. I'm going to just put a little pressure on it for a little bit here so it's not bleed too much. I'm going to give them a cracker to make them feel happy. 
And so you'll just put it right into here. If these things have lost their vacuum, now it's sucking it down pretty good. Anyway, if they've lost their vacuum, you just push it in. No big deal. Just make sure to mark all these as you're filling them because you're going to forget otherwise. Because I mean, you can't tell them apart. Yeah. I put, I always put a number and a name and just circle the number and then make sure that lines up with the paperwork that I fill out. So if I follow this groove down and hers isn't as noticeable because she's really tensed up. But you can kind of see my fingers fall into this groove right here. Now, did you see that swell up? Maybe I'll try it from this side. Okay, so you'll watch right here. This is the vein right here. I'm going to plug it off down bottom. It starts swelling up right away. Whoa, don't bite me. <laughs> can you turn your head a little bit this way? So you can see it's all swollen right there. Watch when I let it off and this goes right back down. So right here is where this vein is we're going to be sticking our needle into. So I'll plug off this bottom groove with my thumb. This vein will instantly start swelling up. With this dough, I know I always have trouble finding her vein. I don't know if it's because she's loose and floppy or because she's old or what, so I'm just going to shave her right away. So I'll just find the groove where I'm going to draw blood from. And actually I shave up pretty high because if you shave too low, the upper hair is still overhanging your spot and then you don't have a spot to get draw blood from anyway. So I'm going to shave pretty high up here. And also with her, let's see if I can focus on the tip of this needle. See how it's angled a different way? If I put it in like this, and the vein is on this side, because the way it's angled, it kind of pushes the vein out back out of the way. So I'm going to turn it like this, so that when we go in, this sharp tip grabs the vein first, rather than this slidey edge, and kind of holds the vein in place, because her vein likes to jump around. So what I mean is, Oh, you're not gonna be able to see. So the tip is on the tip of the angle is at the top of this. So when I go in, it's gonna catch it. Instead of if I turned it around, tip of the angle will be at the back. Anyway, can you hold it, pull her head out a little further? She's got a short neck. Besides all her other issues, can you turn it the other way a little bit? There we go. Still missed it. Let's go sit down, Brittany. Hmm. Guess we haven't figured her out, have we? Got it. <laughs> well, that's probably the best we've ever done on her.